Uh, hey, son, I see that you guys have a boat for sale online. Ah, uh, sorry. It's just so. OK, thank you very much. I don't think my dad would ever tell me that I've gained his trust, but he knows that I always have the boat in my family's best interest at heart. When I was 18, he didn't want me to go fishing. My dad only let me on the Northwestern once I booked another job. I had my bags packed. I was ready to leave. And my dad, you know, saw me getting ready to leave. And that's when he said, hey, I got a ticket for you to Alaska. We're leaving tomorrow. You know, it's funny because the same thing happened with him and his dad. But these days, we're partners. Hello? Yeah, hi. Uh, it's not going to end yet. I was wondering about um, your boat. Well, we're, uh, we have it. But uh, we are missing several parts. Difficulties with the supply chain. OK. Just looking for a flat deck, two holding tanks. Well, we don't have anything like that right now. OK. Hey, Mandy. I'm just really struggling trying to find one of these boats here. A little busy right now, but Tommy is the guy that I know uh, has a lot of leads. I'll send his information, okay? And you can start there. That's the best I can do right now. Gotta go. Okay, bye thank bye. you. Bye. Hey, it's Tom. Hey, Tom. This is Mandy Hansen, Sig's Hello. daughter. I've been calling around now, and I'm looking for a boat to go crab fishing with here in Norway. I have some old tendering boats. Maybe you can have a look. Yeah. What you can find? That would be great. I'll be on the next flight if you're available. Yeah, of course. Okay, great. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you soon. Hey, Mandy. Hey, Tom. I haven't seen you in forever. Oh. <laughs> Tommy's my dad's old friend, and he's a really good fisherman. He knows this area very well. If I'm going to be able to find a boat in Norway, I have to find someone that knows the key players. So we have a typical Norwegian crab boat. Mm -hmm. The best way to fish in Norway, crab, do the chronicle pods, small boats. Oh, right. I just, I don't know if I can talk my dad into it. He's really set on fishing our steel pots. OK, maybe we can find something else. Yeah, I just, we're not going to be fishing inside the fjords, you know? We're going to be fishing all the way up by the Russian border. Yeah. I need a longer boat. I need a taller wheelhouse. It's got to be at least ready to fit 60 steel pots. Tell me exactly what you need for a crab boat. Similar to the Northwestern, you know, house forward, a uh, longer deck. Maybe I have another boat. A friend of mine, I can give him a call there. I think that. Maybe it can be a boat for fishing with big pots. Yeah, let's do that. I don't want to waste more of your time. OK, I'll give him a call. How do you know this guy? Oh, it's an old friend of mine. We fished together many years as the owner and the captain. That's a good-sized boat. Yeah, yeah. In 2005, when the Derby Days ended, my dad actually bought Quota instead of leasing it. It cost him millions, and it almost bankrupted him. But in the last 20 years, he's made that money back 10 times over. It's always best to own something, otherwise you're just throwing your money away to someone else. Hey, John. Mandy. Hey, John. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Do you mind if we get a tour? Yeah, follow me. Well, I don't know how much Tommy has told you, but we're looking to convert this into a crab boat. Uh -huh. How big is this deck now? Oh, 60 feet or something. OK. Just replace that crane with a knuckle crane, yeah. add a rack over here. We would have to clear basically everything, yeah. start from scratch. Well, can we see the engine room? Yeah. So have you have the galley? Mm hmm the captain cabins, clean it today. Uh, nice movie collection. <laughs> I'm really impressed with this. Well, at least the wheelhouse. So it's a little smaller than what we're used to, but obviously it's the equipment that matters. Yeah. So you got your radars, your sonar. 
What's this? Olex plotter. Looking at uh, all the canyon and everything in the bottom with uh, 3D. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously, this is the latest and the greatest technology compared to Northwestern. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Manny. So how's it going up there? No, everything's fine here. How's it going with you? We're just about ready to start hauling gear. It's going good. I'm actually down here with Tommy and You Christian. make sure you say hi for me. I will. So he has a friend uh, that owns a 140-foot dungy boat. It would take converting, but it does have Northwestern bones. So what are they asking? About 1.5 million. He does have a couple other serious buyers, so maybe we could put some earnest money down, say 3%. Well, let me see what's in the gear first, and then we can start talking boats. OK, well, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, boy. So this was the shallows we got. We're on the very top of the uh, ridge. This is kind of the moment of truth, you know? If they hit, then I know we were on the right track. Looks like one. We got crew. This move paid off. A lot of clean crab. I was uh, really impressed. Woo! Oh, okay. What are we going to do about the boat? Um, Let's go! Oh. Yeah. I think we can pull the trigger on that uh, down payment. All right, thanks, Ben. Good luck. Catch the crab. All right, bye. 